ba? Hatep. Hatep. Again. It's your evangelist. Nana Efia Briba Kofi. To be precise. Happy. 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 Akweside. Happy. 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 Akweside. When we talk about Akweside, we are talking about a day for remembrance of our own sisters. So in ancient of days, in ancient Egypt, in ancient Kamit, Nubia, our ancestors pours libation to honor the deities. And indirectly, the reason why for celebration of the Akweside is for the ancestors. I will do that. So today is a day for remembrance of the ancestors. And when you come into Ghana as well, Today is 6 March. 6 March is talking about how we got our independence in Ghana. So today too, I'm going to highlight a nice Ghanaian national anthem to facilitate my priority of my nation. Okay. So this goes by the Ghanaian national anthem. Okay, so this is Ghana National Anthem. Do you understand? We are all in the building of what? The nation of our country, which is Ghana, Ghana, the Akan, Ana people. Okay, so today we are just going to talk about a brief topic whereby a lot of Christians or a lot of misinformation has gone through the kek, which is coming from church. So you can search about kek, K E. RK, which is Kek, coming from ancient Rome goddess, who seduce what humans and eat them. So that they got the scriptures, so that they got the Holy Bible for our people to seduce their mind. So today I'm here to elaborate the truth about what Holy Bible. What is the meaning of Holy Bible? When they talk about Holy Bible, what is the meaning? Where is that book coming from? When you go to church, they will preach to you that there is a God and the Father in the heavens. That one day when you die, you are going to get reward from them. Okay? And that God does not reward you on earth, but that God indirectly rewards you after your death. If you work, you get paid at the end of your month. You don't need any reward that you go to heaven before you take that reward. No. That is fabrications of ancient Egyptian truths or ancient knowledge of truth from the Akan people, the first people the black people, the Malaita people, okay? So today I'm here to elaborate the truth to my people that there is no Jesus and the Father in the heavens. It is what is above, what is below. Psalm 24. The earth is laid on the foundations, okay? The foundations of the earth is laid in waters. You go to Psalm 24. It's there, verse 2. Do you understand? So we are not here to die and go to heaven, but indirectly, nature started from a black substance of space. 
whereby it was covered with what fluid, which is water, and life was existing within water. So the flesh or the entities or the abosom, the deities within the black substance of what the black primordial liquid fluid, which is the water, the new nunet, now combined themselves and wanted to what, create what entity that they can penetrate in. So Ra, who was the god of what? All the gods. Now separated the waters above and waters below. Ra now created Shu and Tefnut. Shu and Tefnut also created the heavens and the earth. Do you understand? Now when you go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 7, he said, let us create human or man in our own image. So all these entities, Shu, Tefnut, Mother Earth, the Sky Goddess and Ra, okay? Now, they combined their thoughts and they created we human beings as physical body to penetrate on this Mother Earth. Do you understand? But when we came here, there's a lot of misinformation that is going around. So today we are not going to keep much time over here. So when we talk about Holy Bible, Holy Bible is not a book written by any God and the Father. That one day you are going to be judged by that book, whether you go to hell or heaven. Do you understand? Hell never existed. Hell is talking about Sheol, the dark part of the earth. And heaven is the firmament. What is above is covering the firmament. That is the evenness. It brings light to us in evenness life, evenness times. Okay? So when we talk about Holy Bible, Holy Bible is just coming from the word Helios Bibelos. Helios Bibelos. When we talk about Helios, Helios represents the sun. A name or a presentation that they give to what? The sun in ancient Greek. And Asian Rome. So Helios Babylos is not any name. Okay? Helios Babylos is just a name for Holy Bible. Helios is the name for the sun. And Babylos is coming from what? Bible. So I'm going to read and explain to you. So the last week we are learning about the Son of God. The S U N, do you understand? Is the Son. S U N is the S O N. Of the great universe. So the Son of God is the Son. Do you understand? The S U N is the S O N of the great universe. Do you understand? And in ancient Rome, the personification of what the Son, they call it what? Helios or Soul. Soul Inventors. So I'm going to read, then we move on. Helios represent the sun, okay? Then when we finish, in ancient of days, in Egypt too, they represent the sun as what? Aten. And I will explain Aten and the meaning of what? Ra as well. I've always been telling my people, I will not lie, I will not take one day to lie to my people, okay? Today is a question day, we pour libation to our ancestors, okay? Abu, the network is fucking up. Bye, yeah, mommy, Abu. Please, I'm coming. I want to search for the meaning of Helios Bibelos so that I read to my people. Okay? So that my pe some, of, some people come here to insult me that I'm talking something which is not coming from any analytical value or analytical what futures do you understand so the network is fucking up so let me explain to my people in a short way so that we will understand what I mean, then we go. Yes, the network is bad. Oh, damn. Don't worry, okay? If the network is bad, oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. That is how now they've synchronized my network and even 
my Facebook account. At times I comes to Facebook, my network fucks up. At times also, my videos are not well to be played. But I'm sure after the video, it will correspond to what I want to tell my people. So when we talk about Helios, Helios, H-E-L-I-O-S, means what? The sun. A name or a presentation that they gave to what? The sun god. The sun. The S-U-N is the S-O-N of the great universe. And the sun gives us what? Life to us. So in ancient of days, our ancestors taught it twice that it is the sun which arises and they arise and they go to work. To work. When the sun sets, they also go to what? Sleep. When you wake up as a man every morning, when the sun arises or when you wake up, you see your penis also erecting. That tells you or that signifies that you are coming from what? The S-U and the sun. It is the sun that what? Manipulate our life. So when we talk about Helios, Helios means what? The sun. Helios means the sun. Through Helios, they got what? Holy. Okay, yes, my brother has gotten it for me. Helios Bibelos, its original name means book of the sun. The first time the Bible was named as a whole was as Tabibia or Tabibia, ancient Greek for little papyrus or little books. Between 386 and 388 CE by Chrysostom, the Archbishop of what? The Archbishop of what? Constantinople. Before the Christian used the term scripture from Jewish. Do you understand? So when we talk about Helios, Helios is talking about what? The sun. Do you understand? And Bibelos. Bibelos represents what? Bible or it represents what? Book. Do you understand? Helios, Bibelos means the book of the sun. Okay? Or the sun book. Or the book of Ra. The reason why our ancestors call it what? Helios, Bibelos. Or the Greeks. And the what? The Romans. They call the holy Bible as Helios Bibelos is that the Holy Bible is not any book, as I said, written from any God in the heavens, in the sky, with the Father and the Abia in the heavens. But indirectly, it is the original book of what Ra in ancient of days. Okay, in ancient of days in Egypt or in Nubia, in Kamit and in Kaniset, in ancient of days, the book of the dead or the book of coming forth by day, which is the Pet An Heru, the first book on earth. Okay, was prioritized to Helios Bibelos, that is Holy Bible. So when you go to church and your pastors are preaching to you with the Bible, telling you that one day you are going to die and go to hell nor heaven. Okay, indirectly, they don't know what they are saying due to misinformation or mis what transpiration, mis interpretation. When Shakespeare came into error, he ordered when uh, constant uh, King James, sorry, when King James. During the era of King James, King James was a friend with what Shakespeare. He ordered Shakespeare to translate what the Bible into the English, the legalese language that people cannot understand, into a me metaphoric what language that people will not understand. So Shakespeare did that work because they were brotherhood people, which was they were Freemasonries. Okay, he twisted the Bible into metaphor so that we will not get what they want to tell us, but indirectly they will misinterpret it to us. So after that, Constantine, now they form what? When Constantine formed the Nazi Council, they created what Jesus' agenda. Do you understand? So I'm telling you, the Bible is not coming from any book that any God has written from the heavens. But indirectly, it is the book of Ra or the book of the sun. The book of the sun. So the Bible represents what? An astrological book that we use to manipulate our life on earth. Okay? When we talk about astrology, it's talking about the movement of the sun, the moon, the stars, and the constellations in the universe or in the heavens. That talks about what? Astrology. And the sun is the master of the astrological system. So when we talk about the book of the sun or the book of Ra, indirectly, we are talking about what? The sun. The S-U-N. Always have been manipulating it to you that on 25th December, the sun, goeth, the sun arises what? One degree to the northern hemisphere. 21st March, we have what? The sum, um, we have what the spring equinox, which refers to what the sun being born by Virgo, okay, in the constellation of Virgo, and the sun was born by what Mary. And on 21st June, the sun will move to what the northern hemisphere, whereby the sun will be in the constellation of what Leo, and Leo represents the lion, 
when you go into the consolation, Leo is the lion. And the lion was referred to as what? The lion of Judah. Whereby they use the name of Jesus to represent the lion of Judah. But indirectly, always I've been telling my people, Jesus never existed. So the son is the lion of Judah. Jahuta, Yahu, Yah, Yah, Yah. So the lion of Yah, Uwe, Yah, Bosumi Yah. Do you understand? Yah. Okay. And after 21st June, the sun now comes, transits or transcends to the lowest hemisphere, coming to 21st September. Okay. Decreasing to 21st December, going to die, arising 25th again on one degree. So it is the SUN, which is what? The SON of the great universe. So the Son of God, okay, the SON of God is the SUN, the Son. Okay. So Helios Babylos represent the book of the Son or the book of what? Ra whereby they transform it towards Holy Bible. So when you are a Christian, or as I'm talking to you now, if you are a Christian, and you are in church, and you are praying to Jesus to forgive you your sins, indirectly you are carrying your own sins. One day you are not going to die and you go to hell, but indirectly you go to Mother Earth, you will be judged by Mother Earth. Okay? You will be judged by Mother Earth. About the attend. So when we talk about Helios, Bibelos, it's just talking about what? The sun, the book of the sun, or the book of Ra. So the Bible is not any holy book you are following to God who you are lost. And when let me explain this to my people. When we say the sun, when you see the sun, the sun, it is not the deity as we are saying. But the sun, okay, is a representation, it's a disc. Like the sun is a disc. Do you understand? And the energy, okay. Animating through the sun is Ra. The sun disk, as you see, is called Aten. Aten represents the boat of Ra. When we say the boat of Ra, when Ra was coming into being, Ra needed a body to function. Do you understand? Or Ra needed a vehicle to function as what? Himself as Ra. Or Ra needed a body or a substance or a matter to manipulate itself through. So now Ra created the Aten. So a ten is the sun disk. Do you understand? A ten is the sun disk. But indirectly, a ten is not the sun. Okay? But the energy, okay? The solar rays, the ma ray, which is called Mary. The ma ray. Do you understand? Look at this. Okay, in ancient Egypt, there's a ten. Do you understand? So I'm reading. A ten is the creator of the universe in ancient Egypt mythology. Usually regarded as a sun god represented by what the sun disk his worship atenism was instituted as a basic for what mostly in ancient egypt do you understand so when we talk about the aten we are talking about what the sun disk but the sun disk is not ra listen to me very well the sun disk is a vehicle through which ra manipulates himself through amon ra is not the sun disk but the sun disk is the boat of Ra, through which Ra manipulates itself through. Okay? So, Ra is the energy animating through the sun disk. As I am a human being now, this is my body, which is carrying my soul and my spirit. As I'm speaking to you, I'm talking with my spirit. My soul is the knowledge I'm opening to you. Okay? And my body is the representation. So the sun disk, when you wake up early in the morning and you see the sun arising from the east, the eastern star, the oyster, the egg star, the father of the universe, the son of God. When the son of God, which is the S-U-N, arises every morning from the east, okay, you see the sun disk. The sun disk is the Aten. It is the boat. It is the matter through which Ra manipulates himself through. So the sun disk is not Ra, but indirectly, the energy animating through the sun disk is what? Ra. Okay. This is a very short information I want to give to my people. Today is a question day. We pour libation to our, our what? ancestors and our ancestors. We don't go to church and pay money to Jesus. Jesus is not coming. Do you understand? Jesus will not come today nor tomorrow. Heaven and hell is bullshit. Heaven and hell never existed. Hell is talking about what? The dark part of earth, which is shield. Okay, and heaven is talking about the evilness of life. When you wake up early in the morning at dawn, look into the night sky, you see there is darkness consisting with what stars, different stars, and stars 
S T A R are coming from what? S T A R T. So the stars, they started. And the stars, the father of the stars is the son, the S U N, the son of God. Do you understand? So when you go to church and you're praying money, praying to Jesus, you are lost. You are lost. Get water. Okay? Get your calabash. Get water. Pour libation. Does not call for gaba, 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 gaba. Your head, you, it's a psychological problem. Okay? You have psychological problem. You have to go for psychological check. Do you understand? So please, my fellow Africans, we are not lost, but indirectly it was misinterpretations that they gave to us. So Abu, send me to Acts 7, 45. I'm reading quotation, last quotation, or I'm giving you a verse to boost what I'm telling you, okay? So Helios Bibulos, Holy Bible, is coming from the word Acts, Acts 7.45. Helios Bibulos means Holy Bible, okay? The book of the sun or the book of Ra. And Ra is the energy animating towards the sun. The sun is the boat. Helios Bibulos is not in the book written by any god in the heaven. One day you are going to go to hell. Then that God will judge you and you go. I don't know. Pastors are just enriching themselves because of you or because of your ignorance. Because you are not ready to recycle your mind. Do you understand? You are not ready to reattune your mind to nature. So pastors will continue to seduce you and take your money. Okay? I'm not able to share because Facebook limits my sharing. Facebook even prevents my tagging. Okay? So people who are here, share to your fellow Africans so that they stop going to church. Church, search for the word K E R K, which is cake. Church is coming from the word cake, Acts 7 45. Cake, okay? Knowledge can help us move through. Within your mind is your soul, and within your soul is your destiny, okay? And your destiny relies on your hard work and your good thinking. It is not any man in heaven, you know, so that you go and sin and he'll forgive you. No. When you sin, there is no even sin. S I N me present the moon god. But when you do any forbidden words, sin on this earth, you will pay for it by yourself. They've not crucified any man in the heaven, so now lies are taking over and truth has been hidden. Always I've been telling my people Jesus and Barnabas story. Oh. Jesus and Barnabas story. People on this earth now don't wrong truth. They only want what lies. But I'm here to fabricate the truth to my people. Okay, so if you are here, share for your fellow of Ura accounts. It can ask own. Yes. So Acts 745, go and read about Acts 745. They said they came into the possession of our ancestors with the name of Jesus. Do you understand? Whereby God drove them away in the days of our ancestors. Where said for that Jesus never existed. Acts 745. Go and read that quotation. You see that Jesus never existed. When you finish, read Acts. 49 verse 12 onwards. Jesus did not come for peace. He came to set problems in us. So Jesus never existed. They were beating our ancestors to accept Jesus. Colonization came to Ghana through missionaries building churches. I love my fellow Africans. I salute you all. If you are here, yes, last year I was talking about building my spiritual center and I've started casting blocks because of one or two things, I've started casting one block. Uh, I've started casting blocks. I've now casted 300 blocks, which is 10 bags of cement. And I'm now about to cast 300 blocks, which is also 10 bags of cement. Gradually, or gradually, we are pro progressing. So please, always I'm here. I'll not take your money and go and chop. Okay? I'll not take your money and go and spend in my mouth. Last year, the people who helped me, or who supported, who donated, I used that money to purchase land. You understand? I used that land, uh, that money to purchase land. So now people were not donating again. So I've gathered some money. Do you understand? And I've gone to buy a trip of sand and also cement. And I've casted 300 blocks, which is 10 bags of cement. And I have 10 bags of cement there to cast also again because the trip of sand is huge. I can cast almost 1,000 blocks from that. So if you are here and you wish to support me, just inbox me. So that I can help you with the procedure that you can reach me. I'm not taking your money. I'm helping to facilitate 
the children's knowledge or the children's mind. When, when King Leopard came to um, Congo, when they were going to preach, he told his people that they should not tell Africans or they should not show us God because we the Africans, we knew God already. Do you understand? King Leopard told his people, the missionaries, not to teach us God because we know God. And they should target the children, the incoming ones. Okay? So I've targeted the children. That is why I'm building this spiritual center. So that even if you are old and you cannot come, whether you are in the United States, one day you pay visits, you can bring your child to come and learn for some months. Okay? To come and get no age, knowledge. What I'm teaching my people, I know more than that. What I come here to teach my people, I know more, 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 more than that. But I come here to facilitate what? As what? A bridge to help you cross the river towards the land of truth. Do you understand? I cannot tell you everything, but I come here to bridge you to the land of truth. Do you understand? To guide you cross over the lies, the rivers of lies, then get to the river of life. Do you understand? So when you are here, you wish to donate. Don't think about donating, but think about what? The Africans, our nice rising, our awakening to face the rare history of blacks. We are going to control Mother Earth again. Do you understand? We are going to control Mother Earth again. So if you are here, please, you can support. You can donate to us. You help us. You inbox me. I'll teach you how to donate to me so that I can cast the blocks in time so that I can build in time. My own strength cannot do all, please. My own strength cannot do all because this is my mission. My destiny is to open the truth to my people so that we arise to get knowledge in this era of what misinformation. And with my own conscience and the help of my ancestors, they guided me to build a spiritual center. And I've tried. Last year, people who donated have purchased a land. Okay. And with my effort and some people also have been able to cast blocks. And I have a trip of, some of the trip of sand is there, but the cement is limited. That's left only 10 bucks. And I'm going to cast it within the next week. So I'm trying to get that money again. If you wish to support, just try to donate and help us so that we can facilitate a nice African arising. I don't love lies. People come here, I will donate, then they will go. I hate lies. Don't try to play with my mind. I'm a busy person. I'm a busy, busy, busy person. Today I went to work. I work six days in a week. I work six days in a week, only one day off. But I get time to research, redo, get family issues, a lot of things, set issues and all those stuff. I get time to come and tell my people the truth. I get time to do rituals, to cancel a lot of what bad energies from my people. Do you understand? I do a lot. Six days in a week, working days, six working days in a week. And I also do my rituals. And I get time to research. And I get time to say something to my people as well. I get time for my family. I do a lot of things. Okay? I'm not here to take your money. No, 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 no. The abosom hate lies. You understand? So my fellow Afro-Americans, my fellow Melanita people, I'm here to open the truth to my people. Don't go to church and pay huge money to pastors. When they pay you, don't, pay, don't send money from Europe, Asia, United, everywhere that you are, to pastors in Ghana to pray for you, that one day you go to heaven or hell. Pastors are taking your money because of what? Your ignorance. Okay? So Helios, Bab Helios Babylos, the Bible you are using is coming from the book of the sun, the book of Ra. Do you understand? And there is more deep to that. Go and do your own research. I love everyone who came here. Really, I salute you. Marcus Smith, I salute you. Eric Edo, I salute you. Tavarus, Bea, Anube, Wan George, Nanayao, Musa Jordan, Ruto, Asari, Lydia Abankwa, Asari Isaac, Akosia Ghana. Yes, a lot of people come here to lend it to. Jay, Jay, I salute you. Felix K. Renit Ugman, I salute you. I salute all conscious souls who came here to just listen to the truth, okay? Yes, share for your fellow Africans. Do you understand? I love everyone. Hey, hey.